Well, yes, time for another informative episode of Our Road to Camelot, and that'll be coming up right after this. So I thought I'd bring you up to date on a lot of things that are going on. A couple of things coming up. Uh, we've been actually still busy with the Playhouse. It was actually a high school reunion, dinner, show, and dance. So I was basically involved in a couple of areas there, both as the band director and also as uh, a member of the band, The Dropouts. So uh, you might see a little bit of that uh, at this point. But we're also... Um, I haven't talked about it and it's been really difficult for me to talk about but um, about a month ago our our big boy Atka is um, is no longer with us so that's a, a very sad event in all of our lives here so we wanted to let people know so if you kind of notice he's not there that's basically what's happened Sierra's doing well uh, Sierra's with us she's uh, She's doing good, and uh, but yeah, it's uh, definitely a loss and a heartfelt loss. I couldn't talk about it before now, so. Anyways, uh, next, uh, tomorrow actually, um, one more thing coming up, but I understand everyone I've talked to, uh, it's funny how many people have cataract surgery and you don't even know it. I had a lot of people talking about it, and I'm gonna be doing that on the first eye tomorrow, the next eye in two weeks and apparently I'm going to be seeing a lot better and uh, so I'll be seeing you better on the road and uh, yeah so that's going to be happening as well there'll be some recovery time there so I don't know we're still going to be getting a lot of stuff done but I don't know how many outings we're going to do as a result they say don't you don't have to worry about restricting travel or any of that sort of thing so we still may get out there and do stuff but if I look like a pirate for a for a few weeks then that's uh, or a month that's probably why uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have an eye patch. That's why I'm doing this today. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is happening? Uh, this is the last of the Playhouse events, so we won't be doing any more Playhouse things, uh, at least this season. But uh, there are some places we still want to go see, and I still have a mile-long list of repairs to do. We were gonna try to do that throughout the winter, but the whole country has been a mess weather-wise. In Arizona, it has been really cold. So I didn't really want to do any of the repairs when my fingers are numb. So uh, yeah, don't want to work power tools when you can't feel your fingers, right? <laughs> you want to wind up with the same number of fingers you started with. But uh, yeah, that's it. We'll, I'll be taking you around as I'm doing repairs as well. So we've got all those things to look forward to. Weather is finally warming up. Notice short sleeves and it's still only... Oh, it's noon. Okay, so... So, but still short sleeve weather now here in Arizona. Hopefully that will last a little while and I'm sitting outside which means it's not blazing hot yet either so uh, we'll get that taken care of when the time comes so go come here and say hi to the camera Sierra come on Sierra hey. so I thought I'd give a quick update um, so basically day after the surgery my I'm not a pirate. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, the only restriction I have to do is, oh, where is it? I got this uh, cool little eye patch I have to wear uh, when I sleep at night, and that's really all I need to do. Um, it's amazing if you are scheduled to have to have this done. Holy cow, the colors and the lights are just incredible. So. Uh, yeah, the sky is incredibly blue, and um, man, whites are incredibly white. In fact, we were at Walmart. I had to leave because it was too white in there. The, it was it was like overload of, of pure white light. So uh, I got uh, my cool sunglasses now. Uh, when we are all said and done, there's a good chance I might not need prescriptions it's going to it's going to continually get better over the next three weeks uh that's what they were telling me i tested out this morning when i went in for my checkup at 2030 so i'm legal to drive without glasses and it's uh there's an excellent chance i could wind up 2020 uh, when this is all said and done now i still have to use readers 
for a close up. Yes. Yep, the little GoPro sign there says a lot is a lot clearer with these on. So I just got over the counter readers, over the counter sunglasses, and this is actually really, really cool. So I just want to give you that update. So right eye's done, two weeks, I go in for the left eye and go through all this all over again. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you that update because in case there was any concerns, I've talked to so many people that all have had cataract surgery. Uh, in fact, as soon as you say, oh yeah, I'm going in for cataract surgery, and if you're a little nervous, everyone will tell you, oh, don't be nervous, it's actually really cool, it's really great. Um, the surgery itself only took 10 minutes. And I thought I was going to be put out. I was not put out. I was numbed and made very comfortable with some happy juice or whatever it was. But uh, I saw everything that was going on and talk about an incredible light show during. Yeah, uh, never did drugs in my time, but I've got a feeling that might have been what it was like. Because, I mean, <laughs> there was crazy weird colors and kaleidoscopes and spin wheels and... Yeah, it was, it was interesting to say the least. Um, so that's it for the update. Let's get back to the end of the show. Well, seems like I'm never gonna end this thing. I keep interrupting, but uh, this was kind of an interesting thing. Um, to be honest, it's not all about travel. This is really about life on the road and a life on the road is taking care of things that need to be taken care of. And yeah, I've been kind of excited about this whole cataract thing. Um, this is now day two after the initial uh, procedure. And you notice I'm not wearing my glasses. I can see incredibly sharp things at distance. I can re read signs far away. Storage by reservation only contact guest services signs is perfectly sharp focus to me. This has been absolutely incredible. So. Uh, I can't wait for the other eye to get done now. Um, and I was worried about not having enough time to get glasses. I may not even need glasses when we hit the road. Uh, this is really incredible. So if you have been told that you need to get this done, don't hesitate. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. Uh, the, the colors are, I mean, as I mentioned before, but the one that really blows me away is just the sharpness of vision. I, I see things at great distances and it's sharp focus. It's no longer fuzzy or double vision. So uh, yeah, yeah, take care of yourself, get that done. Don't be afraid of it. Anyways, that's it, really. <laughs> this time, that's it. Uh, make sure that you hit that subscription button, hit the notification bell, let you know we post every Sunday at two. Thumbs up for good measure safe travels, and we will see you on the road. Actually, I'll see you even better on the road. <laughs> yes.